For my close reading of Women at Point Zero, I looked at a, p a passage on page 60, and it says, I surrendered my face to his face, and my body to his body, passively without any resistance, without a movement, as though life had been drained out of it, like a piece of dead wood or old neglected furniture left to stand where it is, or a piece of shoes forgotten under a chair. So for f figurative language, the main simile here is when Ferdos compares her body to old wood, neglected furniture, or forgotten shoes. All of these things are objects, and I think it's interesting that she compares them to her body because it illuminates the fact that her husband views her as an object. Throughout the novel, women are objectified and seen as possessions rather than people. She also says that the life has been drained out of her, and I interpret this as in having to be submissive to her husband, Ferdos feels lifeless and has no sense of freedom or agency. To, and together, the use of figurative language in the sentence shows the way men view women in society and the way in which women have to submit themselves to their husbands' desires. It highlights the way in which women are objectified and how it drains them of their humanness. Prediction. Um, some of the verbs that were used were surrendered, drained, stand, forgotten, neglect, and some of the nouns were face, body, wood, furniture, shoes, chair, resistance, movement, and some of the adjectives were old and dead. So there's a lot of verbs and nouns in the sentence, and the majority of the verbs have to do with being ignored, neglected, or being submissive, and the nouns all have to do with the body or objects. And I think putting objects and body parts side by side emphasizes the idea that Ferdos is being objectified by her husband. And the adjectives are all relate to some to something being worn out or lifeless. And I think this relates to the idea that the treatment of women in this in this way is old fashioned that it has been like this for a very long time. I think it also relates to Ferdos feeling lifeless when she has to be submissive to her husband because it drains her of her freedom and agency. The literal content of this sentence is describing a sexual experience that Ferdos had with her husband, Sheik. And the style, in the first part, <coughs> in the first part of the sentence, it uses words like mine, his, to show the transfer of her body to his. However, I think saying, my blank to his blank could be replaced with my identity to his identity or my freedom to him because it's like she's losing a part of herself to him and organizing the possessive words my and his in this way shows the transfer from Ferdos to Sheik as in she's giving something to him or he's taking something from her also after the part of this sentence she lifts she lists several faces separated by commas that illuminate her inability to do anything. She starts with passively without any resistance, then goes without a movement, then she lists the similes and it just keeps building up on each other. And the commas really give her the opportunity to add more and more to a list of emotions. And I think using this list that builds on itself is a reflection of how her emotions and helplessness probably built up in this exact situation. For characterization, the sentence illuminates a lot about Ferdos' experience as a woman, and we can see and we can see how this this moment will influence her later as she decides that she hates men. It is all. It also says a lot about women in general during this time, and it shows how she feels like he has authority and ownership of Ferdos because he expects her to surrender herself. The tone of this sentence is solemn, critical, gloomy, and disheartening. The sentence makes the reader feel bad that Ferdos is forced to be submissive and also that she has emotion, emotions where she feels like she's dead inside. And saying negative things like, life sucked out of me, stresses this. Also the use of metaphors and similes heightens emotions and stresses the sadness and helplessness that Ferdos feels. Um, for assessment, this sentence illuminates the power structures that dominate the society. It shows how the patriarchy of the society led women into fear and forced them to be submissive to men. It also relates to Ferdos as she continues her journey throughout the book and her overarching desire to say no to men. And she can finally do this when she becomes a prostitute. However, this raises the question of what makes men 
feel entitled enough to act in this manner, and why do so many women go along with it? For context, this is in the part of the book where Ferdos is forced to marry she, and she has to deal with his emotional and physical abuse. Um, texture, all the literary elements of this sentence weave together to show the treatment of women and the ideology of men. The metaphors illuminate the experience for women, um, in this case for those, and the style and structure reflects the emotional aspects of her experience. The major theme in this passage is the ob objectification and treatment of women by men in society. It highlights the misconception that women need to obey and worship their husband and how this idea influences women. And finally, my thesis, I believe that this sentence functions as a way to illustrate how women in Egypt during this time were objectified and ordered around by men, which overall diminished their sense of freedom and agency.